So why hire that worker? Well, let's look at some other possible levels of employment. If this bakery were only employing one worker, and that one worker earned the bakery $25 in revenues, then it was definitely a good idea to hire that worker. The second worker, as we can see here, the marginal revenue product was higher than the cost of hiring that worker at about $22, so it was a good idea to hire that worker. Notice again that the third worker also earned the firm revenue in excess of the cost of hiring that worker. Therefore, it was a good idea to hire that worker. What about the fourth worker? The fourth worker cost the firm, as we can see, if we zoom in here, the marginal resource cost, the cost of hiring the fourth worker was equal to the marginal revenue product. The firm actually breaks even by hiring the fourth worker. But since the firm is interested in selling more baked goods and maximizing its profits, it's gonna hire workers up to the point where it breaks even on the last worker hired. However, beyond four workers, notice that the cost of hiring the worker is greater. So we can see the marginal resource cost is greater than the marginal revenue product, meaning the firm actually lost money on hiring the fifth worker. And that is same for the sixth worker. At every level of employment beyond where MRC equals MRP, the cost of hiring additional workers is greater than the benefit or the revenue that the workers bring the firm. But notice that for every worker from zero to four, going back to our first worker here, the marginal revenue product is greater than the MRC. In other words, the firm earned profits by hiring those workers. And that's true all the way up to the fourth worker. All right, so let's put this into a simple rule here. In order to maximize profits in the resource market, firms should hire workers or employ other factors of production, such as capital and land, up to the point where the last worker hired cost the firm just as much as the revenue the worker contributed. In other words, the firm will break even on the last worker hired. And the idea here is to hire workers up to the point where marginal revenue product equals marginal resource cost. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what we call the profit maximizing level of employment or the profit maximization rule of resource employment. An individual firm should hire workers up to the point where the cost of hiring the last worker equals the revenue that the last worker earned for the firm. Because at every level of employment before that, the revenue earned by workers exceeds the cost. This is simple cost benefit analysis, ladies and gentlemen. Going back to one of the earliest concepts you learned in economics, every decision is a cost benefit decision. If the benefit of doing something outweighs the cost, an individual should do that thing. Firms should hire workers as long as the revenue earned by the last worker hired exceeds the cost of hiring the last worker. But you can see that beyond four workers in our individual firm diagram here, there would be losses earned on the margin as the cost of hiring additional workers exceeds the benefit. So these purple areas would represent the losses the firms would earn if they hired workers beyond the fourth. However, the green area I'm highlighting now represent the profits the firms earn as they hire workers up to the fourth. So the green represents profits which can be maximized at the fourth worker and the purple represents losses which would be earned if the firm hired workers beyond the fourth worker. Here we go.